Thank you for braving the traffic to join us here today. I'm Ng Siu Chun, Country Sales Manager of Goodwe. So I'm very honoured to be able to present to you our Goodwe solutions for the Malaysian market. So this morning we heard a lot about from the panelists regarding the Malaysia policies, Malaysia future outlook in the uh, for Malaysia market. So today I will start off with a bit of a global overview. Uh, macro view on, on the on the solar market for, for globally and hopefully that will be useful for us and next then I will go into the products portfolio that good we do offers especially in residential commercial and industrial as well as the utilities yeah so without further ado I will uh, move forward with my first thing so we are talking about net zero emission so more than 140 countries have pledged uh, to, to join the Paris Agreement and that is more than 90% of the global emissions and more, more than 68% of the global economy. So this is, we are talking about a very huge potential here in the solar industry. And the main countries that, are, that have uh, committed to this net zero emission by 2045 with Germany, the EU has 2050, US 2050 and also China in 2060. So, um, in order to achieve this net zero emission, solar will play a very important role in reducing the emission in the electricity sector. So, we are talk, uh, to reach to achieve this uh, target, more than 23% of increase in solar power need to be done by at least 2050. Currently, we are just, oops, sorry. Currently, we are just at a mere 3.26%. So, there is a huge gap that we need to cover here. So, at the moment, when we look at the demography of the uh, power sources, uh, mostly are still done by, from coal as well as uh, gas picker. But hopefully, in, by 2050, it must be covered by solar as well as the wind power. So, again, these are the, some of the numbers that we, we have. As you can see, including some of the developed countries like China, US, European Union and India, there are still a very huge potential for, for solar to grow. At the moment, we are still at a significant, very low numbers, a single digit numbers uh, from, from the whole power sources. And according to the latest report from the working group of uh, UN, uh, there from, uh, to, to achieve the 1.5 degrees Celsius climate uh, goal, we are currently lagging behind. Instead of on track, there are a lot of effort need to be done to, to catch up to this target. So, sorry. So there is a huge gap between what is currently being generated from solar power and the target that we need to cover by 2030. And of course, at the same time, from the manufacturing perspective, we have to look into also the production capacity, need also to be improved. And what we have also, also uh, experienced, most of our clients have experienced uh, last years and this years, is the solar global supply chain issue. So be it in the solar module or as well as the inverter in the IGBT, these are the challenges that we are facing a lot and we have to overcome in order to achieve this target as well. Last but not least, also another one with higher penetration of uh, renewable energy, especially solar in, in our uh, energy sector. Security is also a very key issue. These are some things that is always uh, not in the main concern because people always look in power generation and so on, but eventually it will become a very important asset for us that security is also a very uh, important issue that we have to look into it. So after that solar, the next trend up and coming would be the energy storage. So if we are looking at, at what we are here today, 2022, so this, because of the COVID challenge and the pandemic challenges, the market potential is not fully launched yet. But it is predicted that it will triple up very quickly. And by 2030, we will achieve around 70 gigawatt. And in US itself, it's more than 300 gigawatt hour of battery storage. So at the moment, if you can look at the, the it, it could be separated into three, three, uh, three main countries. One is the US, one is the APEC, and the Europe. 
So the Europe has started off very early, but picking up very quickly would be the APEC region, where it's mainly dominated by China and also in utility scale. And the next interesting trend would be the BIPV. More than 70% of our global consumption currently is consumed by urban areas. And for the next two decades, more than 60% of these urban buildings need to be rebuilt or built in urban areas. So BIPV would be a very interesting trend moving forward because uh, we are talking about distributed PV and we need to, for the rebuilding of these urban buildings, BIPV would be something that, that, that people will take into account. So for example, in Europe, they have, they have already set policies, for example, in Germany, Berlin, they have already allocated a regulations that all new buildings built in Berlin need to be fixed with solar system. And it cannot cover less than 30% of the roof area. So BIPV will be an interesting part and come into play. So at the moment, it's still relatively small, but we are predicting that in 2025, Europe and US, as well as in 2030, Europe and US will, will be booming with BIPV. So this is also uh, more than 14.4 billion to 23 billion market share. So, so much about some of the updates on the global overview of the solar market. So the next one would be uh, Goodwill Solutions in terms of residential. So the mission of Goodwill is to, be, to, to drive the energy transition and we are relatively focused on the distributed as well as residential. So for residential, we actually now have products in terms of solar inverter. We are a solar inverter manufacturer. We have products from, for, uh, for residential is from 1.5 kilowatt up to 10 kilowatt. And also EV charger. We have also come up with our own product of EV charger and battery system as well. And yeah, and BIPV, PV building material. I will come back into it later on. And of course, in terms of uh, energy management system, we have our smart energy management system portal where you can do monitoring, remote control, road control, as well as a remote update, firmware upgrade as well. So we have this monitoring system that can be uh, provide access uh, from remotely, from anywhere with internet access. And also we do have uh, solutions in uh, monitoring the load consumption, uh, be it from PV or so on, of the house load consumption. So it is a total solutions that, that we have that we will drive the smart energy era. So this is an overview of some of the key products that we provide. So we do have the grid connected inverter from single phase up to three phase, as well as the hybrid inverter where you are able to uh, connect PV as well as battery in one single inverter and also for the retrofit, the AC couple solutions. We also have a full range of uh, products in terms of single phase as well as three phase. And this is the BIPV products that we mentioned. We have started off with some uh, roof materials, Sunshine series. It's 192 watt. We are launching also more products, more new products. But uh, this is something that we start off. In terms of battery, we have high voltage battery as well as low voltage battery, the Lynx F series and Lynx U series. And for monitoring system, we have all the smart dongles, smart meters to access for the cell code as well as the load consumption monitoring on the home kit. So the next one would be the CNI solutions. So this is our flagship product, the HT series from 100 and 120. 20 kilowatt for 400 watt and 136 kilowatt for 500 watt. So we have actually the currently the largest uh, power class in, in the market with 120 kilowatt for LV. And also for, uh, for, for the lower range would be 25 and 36 and 50 to 60. Yeah. So this is the IP65 with up to 6 MPPT and all our design is without fuse. Uh, AFCI function, this is our third generation of AFCI function. We have a total solution of AFCI as well, but this is an optional function for us. So if customer need it, we will able to add on to it. And if you don't, yeah, it is also uh, possible not to, not to have it. So it's an optional function that we have, and we do supply DC oversizing up to 150% and power line communication up uh, for the second generation. 
And also, uh, not to forget, we have a low startup voltage of 200 watt, which will also improve your generation and you over the long run. And yeah, Goodwe is also very strong in the energy uh, storage system. And we are proud to say that we are one of the um, pioneer in terms of uh, energy storage solutions. And good, we have now come also with the total solutions with the, for the CNI series. We have this uh, hybrid series, the 50 to 100 kilowatt, and the BTC series, which is the retrofit version of this. This is the hybrid where you can put in solar as well as uh, energy storage, while this one would be the retrofit one, totally the energy storage, also 50 to 100 kilowatt. So we do have uh, two MPPTs for, for 100 kilowatt, and we mesh with multiple batteries. Good, we have our own CNI uh, batteries as well with a very competitive pricing, but of course we also work with well-known brand like BYD batteries, etc. So for the BTC, it's exactly the same. We also come with our own battery solutions, but also at the same time, for investors who want better uh, reputations or bankabilities in terms of batteries, then you can go for BYD because we do work with them as well. So yeah, all our design is designed with modular design, so it's plug and play series, and for easy of uh, maintenance and operation, it's always easy to take out one of the module and replace it with another. And we do support multiple work method. So multiple work method is, is uh, we can work with cell consumption, maximize cell consumption, for, especially for cell coal, or for backup purposes, where when you have power outage, you can have that as a backup. So our, all our inverters work in UPS level. So we can switch from grid connected to backup mode within 10 milliseconds. So actually, it's also very helpful for data server and so on because that will make sure that there is no downtime and you can achieve 24 7 power security. And yeah, and again, uh, we also have optional SPD1, so we fulfill all the requirements for the CNI, uh, CNI installation and so on. So last, uh, the next one would be the utility scale turnkey solutions. So I'm proud to announce that actually uh, a good we have already um, achieved secure two LSS Mentari projects in Malaysia. So I think that is a very great milestone for us, a good achievement and uh, for us. So we are able to provide the whole turnkey solutions from the inverters, which is the 250 kilowatt inverters, string inverters, as well as the MV station for 35 kV as well as 11 kV. It is a 6.75 MVA uh, uh, MV stations as well as the whole solutions on the monitoring. So we do have a data logger called the SCB3000B where you can connect with PLCs and monitor also the MV station as well as through fiber or tip and, and, and communicate with all the PPCs and SCADA. And good, we also provide a remote monitoring platform or a local monitoring platform for solar OS where it's specially customized for utilities monitoring solutions. So as you can see, there's inverters. It is connected to the LV side of the MV station at 800 watt. So we can connect more than 26 units or 28 units to be, to be exact. And this is the transformer and our our RMU is also come from reputable suppliers and we do support all kinds of connections, including ring connection and so on for cable savings and etc. So we do have a standard of the art solutions for, for, for utility skills as well. And it would be accept, especially helpful also for the coming up and coming VPPA projects. And this is the, uh, some of the overview of our, our MV stations. This is the LV side, this is the transformer, and the, the MV side would be here. The data logger will be directly installed at the MV stations, so you do not need to have additional structure to hold on it. It is uh, prefix wire is everything connected prefix uh, within the transformer station. You only need to your op, your team local team will only need to install this box and connect the wire. It's really plug and play. And fiber optic uh, cable can come through from the below and then connect it to, to, to our data logger. So we support voltage up to 30, 33 kV. Uh, transformer capacity is up to uh, 6.75 kVA or 7,000. 
we provide ring main unit of CVC ring main unit and uh, everything is packed within a standard 20 foot container uh, with IP56 uh, thing, uh, IP56 uh, ratings and it's, it can be easily installed outdoors and used for outdoors. And this is our 20, 250 kN inverter, the string inverter. It comes with 6 MPPT and it supports up to 20 amps per string. So we, this is the highest input current we have. So it has 20 amps, it's compatible with all the high performance module, be it from Trina, Ryzen and so on. It's the 210mm, we do support it. And also it comes with a default Type 2 SPD integrated DC and AC side and also with smart DC switch. So I will go more into the smart DC switch and it supports the string level DC current monitoring, IV scan, IP66 with C5 protection. So basically, there is no, not much issue if you install near to the C side and so on because we do have a C5 protection. And in terms of cost saving, we do support the aluminum cable as well, AFCI and PID. Yeah, like I said, we have two models. Just now I mentioned about 250 kN is uh, with uh, six MPPTs with uh, three strings per MPPT, while we also have another model called 250K without the end. It will be with 12 MPPTs and 24 strings. So the only difference is the maximum input current. The others will be the same. So the, the 250K, the maximum input current is 15M. It is particularly a specialized, customized for the 182MM modules from Jingo, JA, yeah. And for the 210MM modules, we will go for the 250KN because for each DC input, it will have 20 amps. So all our inverters are designed uh, without fuse. It's a fuseless design. So we remove one of the main, uh, main uh, single risk of uh, failure, uh, main failure point uh, in, in this scan. But again, uh, people will say you have a three, three strings in one MPPD. How do you overcome this IEC? So for that, we have this uh, very smart DC switch. So to fulfill the fuse-free design, so the DC switch will trip automatically when there is overcurrent and also able to extinguish any arc that occur within. So this is a very important. And when everything recovers, it will connect uh, back uh, automatically. And of course, uh, it's also very important that we do have a lock uh, on all the fault and it will be recorded in our DSP directly. So this is some of the innovation that we integrated in our inverter to fulfill, for one, the 210mm uh, module, a requirement of 20 amps input current. And for the second, we don't want to put fuse into our inverter where, where it will cause more reliability issues. So we, 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 this is the innovation that we have done on our side. And of course, also at the same time, we also have a full solution on a PID. We have both solutions. One is we are called NTPID, and the other one is PID recovery. The NTPID would be that the, the device would work all time, daytime, be it daytime and nighttime. It will make sure that the minus voltage to ground of the PV pan, panel string will be always above zero. This is extremely important if clients are using uh, thin film module where they have a very uh, concrete requirement that uh, the module need to be always above zero watt. And of course, we also have uh, PID repair, repair uh, solutions where it's more suitable for monocrystalline um, products where you only work during the night time when the inverter is not working. So basically, we have both solutions and different from the state of the uh, art solutions currently, all our PID, PID recovery and NTPID module is located within the inverter itself. It's not located at the MV site, but located in the inverter itself. So this will again, of course, bring more cost to us as a manufacturer, but we strongly believe that this is the right solution to move forward because we are moving into modular design. We don't want to have a single point of failure. So when, when one of the PID module or one of the inverter fails, you still have other inverters in the array to support the PID functions. So, so, we can, so this is the advantage that we can provide by having the PID devices integrated in each of the inverters. So the next one will be the, the 
uh, monitoring the data logger. So this is the SCP 3000B. So it, it is able to communicate with more than 60 units of inverter in, with, within one box via PLCs, also an RS485. So clients can choose uh, two choice, is but either PLC or, and also we support the IEC with the utilities or the GSO for uh, the IEC 104 standards. So yeah, I have to go a bit faster, that's five minutes. So like I said, we, our solutions totally support all the PPCs, uh, the main, most PPC system, like uh, the uh, some of the manufacturers and so on. So yeah, we do work with networkings and multiple communication protocols. And also we do have a customized solar OS, we call it solar OS, it's a power plant intelligent management system specially customized for power plant solutions. We allow you to do module mapping according to your plan so that you can uh, really separate it into multiple array and then uh, your O&M team can look at it and know which array is uh, generating more or less. It's, it's uh, helping. And also IV curve report, customized report, and of course uh, for operation and maintenance firmware upgrade over the cloud and so on. That's all can be done easily through our platform. And last but not least, this is our IV curve diagnosis. We support more than 20 error types. Uh, it's a machine learning integrated, so we are still learning it. Uh, but we are able to uh, identify more than 20, 20 error types, and it can go up to inverter and string level diagnosis. And also, in terms of the, the operations, it's very easy. Uh, it's only one click, and we can detect the time for 10 megawatt, uh, 10 megawatt plan within five minutes and generate the report within 10 minutes. So yeah, you can, weather station and everything can be also uh, integrated into our solar OS platform. So that's all from my side. Thank you for your attention. And yeah, should you have any questions, please feel free to visit our booth there at the back there and we will be there to assist you further. Thank you.